What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're here in Orange Beach. It's stormy. You guys can see behind me. Uh, the hurricane's actually in the Gulf. It's gonna hit Florida uh, tomorrow or the next day, but uh, we're gonna try to get some fishing in before the waves get too rough. Maybe try to get a pompano. Uh, the redfish do like this kind of weather when it starts getting rough and stormy. But anyway, I got my, my son Liam and got Paul Paul here with us too, so we're gonna try to get on a few fish. But hope you enjoy the video and let's get fishing. Look how rough it's getting, guys. Just from the time I got here, it's probably a foot and a half, and I'd say it's up to threes already. Uh, getting big swells that's coming from that hurricane way out in the Gulf. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I've been hooking these. I always cut the uh, heads off and I cut it about this far when I'm using shrimp. I take the hook and thread it on there just like this. That's all you need. And it's rough today. That hurricane's out there in the Gulf, the one that's gonna hit Florida, so it got a lot rougher, but uh, I'm just throwing it in front of the first wave. So I'm not fishing very far. Very close. Uh, it's, it's high tide this morning. So a lot of times then Pompano will be in front of that first sandbar on high tide. That's a good fish. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, sir. Hopefully this is a Pompano. Yep, there we go. Ice popping up. Heck yeah. Late August Papano. I believe he'll keep, but I'm gonna me measure him just to make sure. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I wasn't expecting that bite. Oh, there's another one, look. See the rod bending? He's just gonna have to stay on the hook. I can't do nothing about it. Here. Uh. All right, he's on there, so I gotta measure and go. All right, he's big enough. Throw him in the cooler, and let's see what we got on here. Oh yeah, another good fish. Might be another pompano. I think it is. Man, this is so cool. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, another pompano, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at there, guys. Big Pompano. That is awesome. Whew. That was a school of Pompano that came through. Got lucky and doubled up. So he's a uh, total length. He's a 15 incher. Look at there. Now that's awesome. Let's go, baby. I can't believe that, man. It's almost September. Was not expecting that at all. That first one pulled the rod out of the, or the holder out of the sand. All right, let's get back after him. Look, Martin and uh, my son, Liam, they were way down the beach when I caught those fish. So I'm about to show them. They're gonna be shocked. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, I got another fish. Golly. Oh, man, I missed that one. Let 
Missed that one. Shouldn't have been trying to show off my fish. I uh, still got bait. That's probably another pompano because he, he slack lined it. Swimming to the beach. My bait's good. Let's get it back out. Yeah, I'd do it by, I had two on at one time. I caught two ladyfish and then, I mean, next two casts i caught a, i caught a pompano and then that one hit at the same time so i had to go over there and like you know crank on it to get the tension but yeah they hit both of them boom boom right together yeah i just had another bite yeah it happened it happened fast got another one guys well martin's hooked up that's a good fish I tell you what, this storm moved in. Hey Liam, come reel the fish. Go help, go help, hurry, hurry, hurry. Go help Papa. Yeah, this storm moved in, guys, and these fish turned on. Hey, let him. Push the hole in the back. Real, real, real. Looks like a nice fish. Another Pompano. Yeah. There we go. Good job, Liam. Woo! Nice fish, man. We got a fish. Yeah, we did. Good job, Liam. Wanna pet him? Yeah, he fired up. Alright, let's measure him. Yeah, they they like this uh storm front. Good job, Liam. All right, total length of this fish is 14 inches. So we'll put him in the cooler. Yep, guys, this is all I'm doing. Piece of shrimp. Um, any kind of float will do. This is a white and like a chartreuse. But when they're biting, it don't really matter as long as you have a float because when this water's really rough, you need something to kind of keep it up. Uh, and something when it's rough the water's usually a little dirty so that helps you know the fish see it when it's real rough like this the fish like to feed because it stirs up the bottom of the ocean and the sand fleas and the ghost shrimp and the, everything else uh, gets washed up so the fish go in a feeding frenzy and as long as you have something that keeps that bait up above the bottom where they can see it uh, you're going to get some bites so anyway We'll try to get a few more before this rain uh, gets too heavy. My goodness gracious. What do we have here, boys? What do we have here? I mean, a daggum good one. I don't know if it's a ladyfish or a pompano, but it's a good one. It's one of the best days I've had in months off the beach. These fish are fired up today. Ah, ladyfish. That's all right. Big one. Man. Big ladyfish. These are so fun to catch, especially if you have kids and you just want to come to the beach and catch some fish. This is the easiest fish to catch. They don't have teeth. They jump. They fight hard. These are so fun to catch. So come down in the summer with your kids. You know, you can set rig fish or throw spoons or whatever, but ladyfish are a blast to catch you guys you freshwater fishermen it's kind of like catching skipjack up there at the uh at the dams it's pretty much the same kind of the same fish 
All right, so threading it on, pinching the tail, push the float down, and she's ready to go. I'm throwing it out just in front of that first sandbar. This is Orange Beach, and Orange Beach sandbar is a lot different than Port Morgan. It's harder to get behind it. Oh, I got another fish. Well, I had a fish. Yep, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There we go. I got him, whatever he is. All these fish are in the first in the first trough right in front of my, our feet here very easy to cast to you don't need heavy tackle lots of fun to catch i don't know what i have here it's not very big it's decent but it's not very big oh a shark Check this out, guys. It's a shark, a little one. Let me uh, get him off the hook and I'll show him to you. All right, guys, the best way to do this, watch out, watch out, watch out. Take a cloth or whatever, you come right behind the head, just like that. Hey, Liam, can you hand me the pliers, please? Yep. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be dumb, I'm just gonna wait for the pliers. Yep, thank you, Bob. Here, bring it to me so I can get this shark off the hook and then you can look at him. He's so cute. Yeah, he is. All right. Here we go, guys. Look at this little shark. Little bitty guy. Woo! Pretty awesome. Catching all kinds of fish today. Yep, really cool. And that's on shrimp again. That just shows you what all will eat a shrimp. I, I ain't gonna lie to you guys, I really expected to hook up on a redfish today with these conditions uh, it hasn't happened yet but that's one of the fish I would expect to catch in rough conditions like this I'll tell you guys if you uh, if you're fishing a new spot and say you don't get bit the first 20 minutes or so uh, I would definitely suggest to try a different spot not necessarily a different beach just move around when it, see, I got a bite on the end. I uh, didn't take it though. But when these fish are biting, uh, they're, they're gonna bite usually within 10, 15 minutes of each other, um, especially when there's a lot of action going on. So if you're sitting around 30, 45 minutes and you hadn't got a bite, you probably wanna pick up and move. And I'm not saying you won't catch a fish, but probably won't have a real heavy action you got to find that right spot where the fish cycle through and a lot of times that's just a cut in the sandbar um, a deep hole off the beach and in today's case I kind of have all those plus I have high tide plus I have a storm coming in so all those things mixed together and you got uh, oh golly there's another one that's probably gonna be a pompano right there. But all those things mixed together and you got a good day of fishing. That's a good fish here, he's pretty heavy. Swimming off to the right. I haven't seen him jump yet, so that's a positive sign that it's not a ladyfish. It feels like a catfish, and I have been expecting one of those today. <laughs> yep, there we are. Our first catfish of the day. 
I was definitely expecting to catch one and I thought it would have been quicker than this. All right guys, let's go let's go over this real quick. These catfish are they will sting you just like a freshwater catfish. But the saltwater ones will hurt a lot more. They got some toxic venom pretty much is all it is that's inside of their stickers here their uh, fins and i promise you if you get stuck you will not forget it my dad works in the er and he has people come in all the time with catfish fins stuck in them so be very cautious you see how i'm holding it here there's two or three different ways to hold it but just don't get hit by this one this one or this one you will be hurting for days oh baby another good one come on Liam come on guys I'm telling you these fish are absolutely fired up here he's fine he's over there go 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 faster 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 good job keep going keep going Keep reeling, keep reeling. He's almost here. He's almost here. Keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, he's fighting hard now. Another popping though. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Okay, I got him, I got him. Go down there and get him. Go down there and get him. Right there, Liam. Another Papano! Nice job, dude. Nice job, Liam. to measure this one he might be short but that's our uh, fourth one of the day I'm gonna let he's a keeper but I'm gonna let him go he's just barely let him get a little bigger we've already got three so I probably won't even keep anymore I can't believe it guys this the fishing is fantastic and it's raining it's steadily raining on us and the waves are just getting bigger but the fish are biting so we're going to keep catching them well the sun come out you see how pretty the water is but man it is getting windy and it's coming straight from the uh the east it's blowing right in my face right here and man i tell you what it's making the fishing a lot tougher because all our lines are blowing. Uh, that's when you really want to have those Sputnik weights. Those things are a game changer. I don't have any on me right now. But uh, anyway, just giving you guys an update. The fishing has slowed down. The sun's out and the wind has picked up a lot. So uh, we'll wait it out a little longer and see what happens. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it. It's a... Uh, it's getting pretty bad out here you see these storms behind me uh the wind's picking up pretty bad but we had a great day of fishing we uh i think we caught four pompano uh, a bunch of ladyfish shark all kind of stuff but uh i just goes to show you guys you never know what you're gonna get out here the, these conditions weren't good uh, weren't great but uh well, we caught some nice fish anyway but thank you guys for watching i appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.